nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night Good morning, good morning guys! Welcome to the United States of America. We just entered the United States into Rosewa, Minnesota. Yeah, the light is finally coming out. The border only opens up at 8 o'clock, so well, it's 11 minutes after 8 right now. Yeah. We are across the border. There was one penner truck ahead of me there, so we got across pretty quick. Now we got 694 miles to go to uh, go to uh, Germantown, Wisconsin. Yeah. So we got a long day ahead of us, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. We obviously won't get there today. We'll get there tomorrow, someday, sometime. I don't really like going there first thing in the morning, anyways, because there's usually like 20 trucks ahead of you, like first thing in the morning. If I get there around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, that's fine by me. Because then most of those other trucks will be gone. And I'll be, uh, I'll be getting in and out of there pretty quick then, you know. At least quicker than in the morning. You know, if you got like 20 trucks ahead of you, that's going to be a couple of hours of waiting time anyway. So, may as well just get there a couple of hours later and then don't have to wait a couple hours, right? Yeah, that's at least my opinion. <laughs> well, the sun looks like it's starting to come up over there behind the clouds. So it looks like we should get some sunshine here pretty soon. It's gonna be a good day. Oh yeah. I like it. I like it. Yep. <coughs> Anyways. Let's get down the road and thanks for joining me. And uh, that's coming right along with me. And uh, let's see what, can, what kind of day we can have here. And uh, what we'll all be able to show you. And see what kind of interesting things we can come up with today. So let's stick around for the rest of the video. And that's our result of a fantastic video. Well guys, we've been driving for quite a few hours. And so we made a pit stop. Well, four hours to be exact. We've been driving. So it was time for a pit stop. Yep. And our mandatory half an hour break off. Now it's time to get out of here. Oh my. Looks like a bunch of guys for the same company coming, eh? Yep. That's what it looks like. Alright, he wants to let me get in here. Okay, we'll do that then. the 
best. That's all we can do. Hope that it will be run, the country will be ran properly. But yeah. But we're going to continue on with our journey here. Cruising towards Germantown, Wisconsin. get there tomorrow sometime but uh, we have to go through Superior Wisconsin again we'll probably get some fuel and then uh, well we'll see if we'll get some in uh, Superior I might wait till I get on to uh, US 29 I might just do that We'll have to see how it goes. Well, let's continue on with our journey. Alrighty guys, Minnesota scale is open here. So we're gonna go roll on the scale. These guys got a little bit of a habit of uh, putting the red light on once you are on the scale. So stop and... Yeah, there we go, now we got the red light. Stop on the scale. Got a pretty accurate, uh, accurate wage. Oh, there we go. There goes the green light. We are apparently good to go. Yeah. They didn't scream at us, so that's good, right? Anyways, we uh, are going to be entering Wisconsin here in a few minutes. So we'll be right back, y'all. Alrighty guys, look up on the horizon. We got a fighter jet in the air. Can you see it? Army Force. Yeah. Anyways, we are just about to come into uh, Duluth, Minnesota. Yep. That's where we are on Highway 2. This is US 2. When you go through this town, you will see that fighter jet up in the air. I think that's a, one of my very first actual videos that I ever did where I had my wife come and ride along with us. <clears throat> that uh, She videotaped it. And I think it was part of my one of my very first videos I ever did. Maybe not the first one, but more of the first one where I actually did a, started the vlogging videos. Where I have that uh, fighter jet in there, so I figured, eh, maybe I'll show it to you guys again. I haven't uh, shown that video in a very long time, or that uh, fighter jet, I meant to say. I haven't shown that in a very, very long time, so maybe it'd be interesting to some of you. And guess what? We got some Christmas lights up here. I don't know what he's doing actually. Maybe he did have somebody pulled over, but he's just doing his paperwork now or whatever. I don't know what he's doing. Or he's just sitting there watching everybody come up the hill, maybe. Maybe that's the case. Oh, well, I can see the big Duluth uh, Superior Lake up there where we just crossed last week. If you watched last week's video, you would have seen it, me coming across that highway too. And I was talking about it when I come this way. I can cross that bridge there on highway too, but if I go that way, I cannot. It's under construction. I got to go up there to... Uh, 553 I think it is 553 and 53 take the freeway entrance on I 35 south this is where they had a mudslide long time ago yeah one time I was coming up here and I wanted to go uh, back home and uh, this road was shut down because of a mudslide they had uh, lots of rain here and I don't think it was last year I think it was the year before but it could have been last year but I don't remember exactly what year it was but one of these years it was time flies so fast that you don't remember how long ago what was what you know but if you look over there to the right real closely you'll see that highway 2 bridge if the camera picks it up 
might be too far but that's where the lake is and uh, way way over there I don't know if you'll be able to even see that one is where uh, the uh, 53 or 535 or whatever that's called is up there yep and now we gotta go downhill into town the town is in the bottom of this hill so <clears throat> Come on truck, you're doing a little fast, aren't you? This 45 speed limit up here going downhill for the truck, so I think he's going a little fast, but oh well. I guess that's his problem. Anyways, yeah, here goes the smoky bear. Eventually he's going after and see what everybody's gonna do. Yep, so let's continue on. Look over there to the right guys, you see a big ship up there, massive ship. They're usually not this close up here to uh, to the highway, but today they are. Looks like a big ship up there, so uh, hopefully the camera is able to pick it up today. Yeah, looks like it's very, very windy up here today. It's just like the truck is shaking back and forth, it's crazy. Anyways, I just had to show you guys that a little bit there. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. We've been done for a while already, but I was editing the, the video together from yesterday and all that good stuff. So, uh, it's kind of busy doing that stuff, but now we're ready to go up there and go into bed. Yeah, so we're about, what was that? 111 miles to our delivery place so uh, we we'll get up as early as we can tomorrow and head over there and we'll see when we get there so that should probably take us about two hours to get there so you know I got here at eight o'clock so I can actually get out of here at six so I could be down there at eight but I ain't gonna be down there at eight nah I'll probably try and get down there for ten o'clock that would be much better for me, I think. Anyways, we'll see what happens. So thanks for uh, watching my today's vlog. And be sure to stick around for tomorrow. Because we got some good stuff coming up. So we'll see you then. Have a good one. Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy. And I am here with... Diego, I'm trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day.